Welcome guys. So welcome to the second video of 50, 50 challenges problems and probabilities. And I will not just uh, I will not discuss all the 50 prob uh, 50 challenges problems in this book because I think uh, I only pick uh, what I think is interesting and what I think is really challenging. Uh, some of them are really trivial, so so I don't want. To, I think it's, I, I think it's okay as for I just pick some interesting. And uh, uh, well, I think this problem is very interesting because this is very easy that, uh, and uh, but you can still think uh, how it goes. So basically the flippant uh, jurors that uh, there are three, when jury has two members, have each of whom independent has probability P of making the correct decision and a third member who flips a coin for each decision. And the majority rules, uh, basically if three of them uh, if three of them, uh, two, uh, if two of them have the same argument, uh, same decision, then this is the, the results. A uh, one-man jury has probability p of making a correct decision. Uh, which jury uh, has a better probability making a correct decision? Okay. So. Okay. So the solution, uh, very easy. So the first case is since only one man, right? Only one man. So the correct decision, the probability of a correct decision is just P, it's just P. And the second situation, there are three men. And uh, so for these two, there are, uh, they both have, they, they are both as the, the, the uh, both same as this kind of men. So they have the probability P to make the correct decision. And then for the third one, they use coin, coin. So basically, that they uh the third man has the point five probability to make a correct decision. Okay, so okay to solve it, so the probability to be correct, to be correct, is what is the so there are uh several cases. The first case is the first two guys make the correct decision. So correct, correct. Then, then, uh, then we don't need to care about the third man because the result already be correct and correct. And then this is probability p squared p times p because this is independent. And the th uh, second case, uh, second uh, probability uh, possible case is is uh, they both have correct and uh, not correct. And the third man makes the correct. Then the total result still be correct. And the third case is not correct. The first man not correct. And the middle man correct. And the third man is correct. And uh, this is all the case. If you have uh, any others, then the result will be false. Well, will be not correct. Okay, so correct, not correct, correct. So the probability is P times one minus P times 0.5. And for this one is P times one minus P times 0.5. So the total is p squared plus p times one minus p, basically p squared plus p minus p squared, which is p. So the results are the same. So this is uh, why I think this problem is interesting because uh, actually when you do the uh, simple calculations, then you can see, oh, basically they are the same. So which jury has a better probability of making the correct decisions? The answer is, the same both have probability p to make correct decision okay uh, i think it's enough for today and uh, i do math and i do physics i do other things about science and i hope uh, you guys enjoy this pro uh, this video now uh, this series of video if you want to see more interesting probability theory basically you can email me or uh, present or, or your question in the, in the comment and I will see you guys in the next video and don't forget be sure to subscribe to my channel